Okay, so you're thinking, uh, here we go, another lamb shank recipe. I dare you to give this one a go, though. It's got my fantastic harissa, and if you don't want to make it, you can go to the supermarket and buy some already made harissa, or check out the recipe that I've done already. Magic ingredients, eggplant, chickpeas, and the good old hind lamb shank. New Zealand, of course. Let's get cooking. I can help you out. Get rid of this end piece off, just scrape those off, get rid of those, and then we're going to cut it quite chunky into four like that, and then just come along and cut it like that. There we go, big chunks. Season your shanks with salt and pepper, and don't be shy, plenty of it in there. Come on, let's grind it in there, let's move it all around. Toss it all around, cover it like that, mix them. Happy days, let's go over and get frying, baby. All right, I've got this casserole dish heating up. I've got some extra virgin olive oil going in there. Just going to sear them on all sides. Get a little bit of the Maillard effect happening or the caramelization on the outside. In they go. sliced up and the celery goes in. We'll give those three minutes of cooking. I'm going to get about half a cup of ketchup in. I'm using mine which is sweetened with vegetables, not sugar. Normally ketchup is about half white sugar. It's none in here, none added. It's just sweetened with veggies. In my harissa now, I've got a recipe that you can watch of how to make that. I'm going to put a couple of big tablespoons of that in. That's going to be the key flavour. We're going to make it sort of a Moroccan, Tunisian, North African dish with that flavour. I'm going to cook this for a minute or so. There we go, that's cooked. In goes the eggplant, the chickpeas, and the red wine goes in there. all these guys in there. Do with just a wee bit more room in here, but we're going to get away with it. I'm going to top that up with lamb stock. There we go. And into the oven or slow cooker. Get into a preheated oven in the description below, all the temperatures, all the recipe, and you can use a hot crock pot if you like. The lamb shanks have been in the oven for three hours, almost about ready to come out. The freaker is on cooking. I've got some corn flour and some water. I'm just going to mix that together because that's what's going to thicken our lamb shank sauce up. Coming out. Ta da! You know the shanks are cooked when they're just falling off the bone. Please keep cooking them until they do because that's when they become soft, moist, and delicious. I'm taking them out of the pot and now I'm going to thicken up the sauce. Corn flour and water is going in and then I just whisk it into there and we'll heat it up over on the stove but you can see it's coming to a beautiful saucy consistency there are those chickpeas in there there we go let's bring it up just so that we get it up to bubbling again beautiful silky harissa sauce with the eggplant the chickpeas the celery and the carrots let's serve it up
want a little greenery on top. So I've just got a little Italian parsley here. But you could use marjoram, you could use normal parsley. Just scatter a bit over the top. It's going to go great with those harissa flavours. Let's serve it up and see what it tastes like. I feel like I'm the king of the castle with this feast sitting in front of me. Look at that. And be sure to serve a spoon because they're going to need it for all this beautiful sauce. There we go. Get some of my smashed pea freaker on here. If you love spicy, you're going to love harissa and you're going to love even more harissa lamb shanks with smash pea freaker. It really is a flavour bomb going off here. And a bomb's a good thing sometimes. Please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up if you like the idea of this. And we'll see you next time. I can help you out. I can help you out.